What's going on guys? My name is Marcel Flores. Welcome to my YouTube channel One Dapper Street and in today's video we're going to take a look at one of my favorite pieces of outerwear for the fall winter season and that's the trench coat. I've got for you five different looks today, five different vibes, five different types of inspiration for you to rock the trench coat and we're going to start each and every one of the outfits actually without the trench coat off so I can talk about the pieces a little bit better and they're not covered by the trench coat. Tiny bit of history on the trench coat itself, it comes from the British military and was primarily used as a very functional piece of outerwear, keeping the wind and the water out and I think the most classic image that you have in your head when it comes to seeing like an old trench coat is just a white shirt, a black tie, a gray suit or a black suit and just a khaki trench coat up top. Today we're going to take a look at styling this navy trench coat from h and it's not the most traditional color, I think the most traditional color is that khaki, but we're overall looking at a more modern approach to the trench coat. Let's start with look number one. I'm wearing it right now and that's the suit but spiced up a little bit to make it a little bit more interesting with a pair of boots instead of proper dress shoes. And up top I'm not wearing a shirt and tie, I'm actually wearing a simple black sweater. A really really clean look, really modern, clean lines and that's what I like as a base for the trench coat. If you have that clean line then you can add the trench coat and that trench coat adds a whole lot of layer, a whole lot of fabric. It drapes really nicely, that's what I love about the trench coat. It's just if you wear it open, it folds over, it flaps around, you have that large collar which I love to pop personally and in this case we just have a simple black and navy combination. With look number two we probably have what is my favorite most essential way to wear a trench coat. On my bottom half I have a pair of raw denim jeans, these are from Club Monaco and up top a turtleneck. This turtleneck can take on many different forms, obviously these raw denim jeans can be from many different places. This is more of an inspirational video for you guys as a guideline, you don't actually have to shop these exact pieces unlike some of the videos that are more shopping oriented. On my feet I've got a pair of Ankari Floor sneakers that are launching our new holiday collection, they're a corduroy sneaker, I'm saying corduroy because they're actually a debossed suede so it's a little bit more of a luxe sneaker than your average corduroy sneaker, not that there's so many corduroy sneakers out there. You see what I did here is bring the color of the shoes back in the top and then base it against that very very dark blue of the rotten jeans, something I absolutely love doing. And one more time, if you want to add a little bit more texture, a little bit more warmth up here, you can go for a cable knit, thicker turtleneck, something cream colored. You can have fun with colors here, it's more so the conceptual approach. And this is what it looks like with the trench coat on, same vibe. Definitely a little bit more casual, more relaxed. I love popping the, co the, the collar. I, I, if you guys don't like it, I'm sorry because I think I'm going to be doing this for all five looks just because I love doing it. But you see that while it's a classic dressy piece, you can easily make it a little bit more sporty by throwing on a pair of kicks and generally keeping it more casual with a pair of jeans and then this turtleneck definitely still nice and put together and the same thing applied as in the first look. Really nice and clean lines for the base of the outfit and then the trench coat is what adds a little bit more movement to the look. Third up, we got a little bit more of a rustic vibe and that's primarily because I'm wearing corduroy pants on the lower half of my body and then you see I actually bridged the gap between the boots and the sneakers with what I've got on my feet right now which is a pair of Converse boots in brown leather. I absolutely love these, I think they have a really nice casual aesthetic but they're also super comfortable especially in comparison to you know just the chucks. And up top I have a denim shirt on. This denim shirt is kind of for me like the inverse of what you would usually wear. A corduroy shirt with a pair of denim jeans, I choose to wear the denim up top in this case which I think creates a really nice base for the trench coat. It's a little bit more of a fall aesthetic just because we have more texture in the pants and overall there's a little bit more texture happening. The trench coat is now almost going to bring in a little bit more of that clean look just because of the fabric itself that doesn't have any texture but at the same time from the silhouette standpoint this is what's slim, what's nicely fitting and the same thing goes as for the first two looks, this trench coat is now what's adding a little bit more to the silhouette. I personally really like this, overall the color combination is a little bit more all over the place. You can easily do this in a more monochromatic way like we did with the first look but I just want to show you guys a few different options that you could go for. You can play with different colors especially if it's denim and navy that already kind of goes together. Denim for me is a neutral in fashion. I don't know if you've heard me say this like white, gray and black are neutrals obviously but for me navy uh, denim kind of is a neutral as well just because it goes with anything and in this case we've got this brownish gray and then the brown on the feet so we got a brown and navy color scheme. For look number four we got a fairly chill combination. A pair of chinos on my bottom with a pair of grey suede Aquatalia Chelsea boots and up top a sweater with a t-shirt that's just peeking out and to finish the look off a gold colored beanie from Hell City. 
it's a fairly essential look, but you can make it really your own by choosing colors and knits and combinations that make it really you. For me, I love earth tones, so the bottom half is earth tones, even though the shoes are gray, they have a brownish hue to them, so it definitely works with this. I picked up on that color up top with the beanie, and then I just have that navy sitting on top of everything, also of course knowing that I'm gonna be wearing a navy trench coat. With the trench coat on, you see how everything really comes together nicely. We got two pieces that integrate that navy, and then the rest of the pieces, including the t-shirt that's just peeking out. Create a color scheme of several different earth tones, and I really like that, balance the navy with earth tones. But like I said, it's really up to you, especially because you're planning on wearing the trench coat up top. You can go for a bolder color when it comes to the sweater, maybe like a poppy orange, whatever really floats your boat, something with a little bit more of a graphic. And with this look, obviously you can do it with all of them, but with this look, I think it looks nice to also belt the trench coat. And I like belting it in a messy way. That means I don't necessarily button it up. I just kind of tie it around once. I don't necessarily bother to put this through the belt loop. I don't like that look. I think it's a little too clean. That you have to do with a suit and like dressed properly. But for me, this actually works really, really well and it's a nice and comfortable look that you can easily pull off. Last but not least, you can of course dress the trench coat all the way down and make it a little bit more street style with a pair of ripped jeans like I'm wearing right now and a hoodie up top. This hoodie is from Hill City. If you saw my Instagram video recently, it's a certified B Corporation sustainable stuff, high quality, fair price point. Check them out, link is down below. I think overall, you know, a pair of sneakers, ripped jeans, and a hoodie is definitely something that you don't think of when you think trench coat. But I think it can definitely work if you do it the right way. In this case, I picked up on the navy in the sneakers, but have the white on the sole there as well, so it plays off of the hoodie and the t-shirt up top. But the jeans are kind of a medium blue, so they have some washed out lighter parts, which play off the white, and then you have some darker denim parts, which play off the blues in the outfit. So as long as you coordinate colors nicely, and you don't go for something that's super oversized or super trash for the jeans, then it's definitely a look that can work pretty easily. If you recently saw my video, seven casual jackets that can replace the puffer jacket hoodie type combo, I also had the trench coat in there. It's not the most often seen look but like I said I think you can easily pull it off if you know how well, hopefully I just gave you a little hint let's talk about a few comments from the streetwear videos that I've been posting the haul as well as the outfits and I think this one comment is the most like comment on the haul video sums up a large part of the conversation I want to have with you guys today and that's it's clearly noticeable that streetwear isn't his style but he still makes a dope video about it and we surely love it said Muhammad Anas Danish First of all, thank you for your comment, I appreciate that, and thank you for pointing this out. Now, it's not not my style. It's just not as much my style anymore as it used to be. So as I kind of alluded to in the video, I used to very much just wear streetwear. That was my thing. It was more so in my teenage years, and yes, streetwear can be a little bit more juvenile, but overall, we see a big, big trend and a big movement in streetwear and guys across all ages wearing it, which doesn't mean that you have to, but I wanted to start talking about it again, not only because I think some of you guys might be interested, but primarily because I actually am, I'm seeing it a lot more, I'm getting used to it again, and I'm liking it. So it's something I wanna do, and as always, fashion is a way of self-expression. So I'm gonna go through a few more comments, and I think a few of those uh, are, gonna, are gonna help drive this point home a little bit. Usman said, time to take a trip down Dapper Street. Marcel, an amazing tour guide. Yes, so, I, I don't know how I forgot to point this out just now. Obviously my blog and my YouTube channel are called One Dapper Street for a reason because there is a big part of street in me more then and again more now. So that's just a nice little uh, thing to point out. Simon Phoebe said NSW is Nike sportswear. You know what? I knew that but I messed it up in both of those videos. I said Nike streetwear because I was so streetwear focused and it worked out. So I hope you can forgive my shortcoming. But thank you for clarifying. I, I did actually just learned what NSW really stood for when I was shopping for this video. So I had just learned it and then I forgot again. Uh, Joachim said, love how your pieces are available for normal people. Thanks, good content. That's exactly what I'm trying to do. Even if I branch out into streetwear a little bit more, I wanna try and make it accessible for you guys so you can style it in a way that's easy and not too complicated on a daily basis. Now, this is a good transition to talk about the streetwear outfit inspiration video because those looks are definitely a little bit more on the edgy side but i try and mix a few in that are pushing the boundaries my boundaries possibly your boundaries and a few that are a little bit more on the safe side that just have like a street wear aesthetic to a certain extent 
There's a big thing with streetwear. I think the definition of streetwear is so loose because it can mean so many different things. It can basically mean just a ripped jean, like a long sleeve that's printed on, and it can kind of pass as streetwear. And you can go all the way with technical fabrics, utility vests, and a look that really looks a little bit more out of worldly, let's call it, if we're looking at it from an everyday standpoint. But I hope you enjoyed those. The most like comment we have on here is from Wave Illusion. I love how it's also straightforward, no five minutes selling out, just straight up to the point, keep it up. Thank you, I try and keep it concise, even if I have sponsored videos in. Obviously, I wanna talk about the sponsor because they're the reason that I can keep my channel alive and keep creating content for you guys. But at the same time, I don't wanna have that be the major part of the video. The video is still the video, and then the sponsor comes in. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna read this one because I actually thought it was funny. Uh, ZCK, Zach. Uh, said, I'm not a hater and I'm not trying to be rude, but I would rather glide my balls against the broken glass than wear any of those outfits. <laughs> I had to read it twice because at first I didn't know what was going on. Um, yes, of course, not everything, not everything is going to float everybody's boat. I say that in many comment responses because at the end of the day, I know that you can't please everybody with one single video. It is literally not possible. Even if you split it up for everybody, there, there's always going to be somebody who dislikes it and that's okay, but it's called Dapper Street. So there's going to be other more dapper looks that hopefully appeal to you a little bit more. Somebody suggested a night jogger video with different colorways because those are some of my favorite sneakers right now. I actually am considering that. That's a good idea. I think I'd have fun doing that. And hopefully you guys would have fun watching it. Okay, let's end on, on this one. I think the last comment from Vincent LC who said, I have to agree with some people commenting, this isn't your best video style. The only thing keeping you from looking like a kid juvenile is the fact that you're six, uh, six foot plus. I like your more dapper put together looks. However, there are other ways to look casual and laid back without wearing items that are very high school-ish in style. And I think that's a nice summary of it, but I do want to steer it a little bit in a different direction. Just because it's not you and it feels too young for you doesn't mean that it's just a look for teenagers or a very juvenile look. Yes, absolutely. There's many different casual and more laid back ways to wear it in a more traditionally adult way. But for a lot of people, that's the aesthetic they like, that's how they express themselves when they're not at work, or maybe even at work, who knows what they do for a living. So yes, I get it. Like I said, appealing to a different market, if it's not you, the next one's hopefully gonna be more to your liking, but I'm still gonna keep doing this, primarily because I enjoy exploring that right now for myself. That's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and are a fan of the trench coat now. If you weren't before, leave comments down below with your thoughts, questions, and concerns, and a thumbs up if you liked the video. Make sure to subscribe because there's a bunch more content coming in the men's fashion fall winter realm really soon. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon with the next video. Until then, as always, stay dapper guys. Bye.